Tell me about the first film that you made in film school, My Josephine. Yeah, My Josephine is uh, a short film about an Arab American couple washing American flags on the night shift uh, in a post 9-11 uh, South. There was this saying going around that to be Arab or to be Muslim is the new black in the South, which meant they have it now harder than black folks in a post 9-11 world. And it was after I'd taken this year long sabbatical, it was after I had all these doubts about if I could become a filmmaker because of all these limitations, you know, all this this lack of privilege I'd grown up with. And uh, I'd watched all these, I'd watched so much and read so much that was outside the mainstream. Uh, and then I thought, oh, and I want to talk about 9-11. <laughs> And it was wonderful because I thought, oh, if Arab is the new black, I know what it's like to be a black man in the South. There's something I can relate to with these characters. And then I thought, you know what, and, and how can I make this my own? How do I see this imagery? And I thought, oh, it's not in focus, and it's not like shot, reverse shot. I started to allow myself, you know, with my gut, to have these visual, these creative impulses that I think only could exist within the housing of this film. And so we shot it over two nights, and I remember I was just a sponge at this time. There was this show called Nigella Bites, you know, Nigella Bice, this cooking show, all the transitions were these super out of focus. They go to a plate, be super out of focus, and they come back and it rack into focus very slowly. And uh, one of my roommates was obsessed with Napoleon, and so he would walk around the house talking about Napoleon. And, uh, and so the movie ends up being about this guy, this Arab guy, speaking in Arabic, talking about how Napoleon had two wives, you know, Mary Louise and Josephine, and it's green and it's out of focus, and it's like got all these montages, and it works. And it was purely about me trying to relate to these characters. And after that, I was like, oh, so, no, like, I, like I can do that, you know? And it was just the most amazing film. It, to this day, winning an Oscar was cool, like watching my Josephine for the first time, that was like life changing. When I watch that film, I just have to say, one of the things I also think it's you getting to know is the film itself happening. Yeah. Like, there's clearly emulsion, accidents, and things, timing. I mean, the bruh, I mean, again, we were kids, it was film, so the mag spooled uh, in the bag when the second AC was downloading it, but then we got it back from the lab and I told the editor, oh, these flashes are when his memory is slipping, so let's put the flashes in. And so, I mean, there's like the scratch marks, I mean, it's just like, it is out there. I love um, it. It's yeah, so no, it's, it's, it's still to this, it's probably my favorite piece I've ever done, which is sad because it was like 15 years ago, but you and know. you can totally feel the filmmaker that made Moonlight in that film. Because I'm an amateur, bruh. Because I'm an amateur. Because I'm an amateur.